I got a story time for you. So I've already talked about this particular person uh, in my video, things guys do that girls don't like. Um, I'll either put a link in the description or somewhere around here. Um, so yeah, if you want to hear about that, then uh, go watch that video. And at that time, we were still together, I think. I'm talking to this guy, we're gonna call him Sam. Um, so, me and Sam were talking, he randomly messaged me one night and said, ew, and I said, what? Or okay. And he's like, I, I didn't expect you to message back. And I was like, mm, well, I did, so here we are. So we start talking, and he's like, I wanna hang out. And I was like, okay. So, we made a date, and we went on this date. We went to the park, we played on the park. Um, he climbed a tree, so that was cool. Um, then he took me to go get ice cream, and we parked by this river thing, and then across the street from the river, there was this golf course, and we just sat there, and we ate our ice cream, and talked, and listened to music, and it was a really good day. The next time that we hung out, uh, I went to his house, so I met his dad, and I met one of his sisters, and his brother-in-law. They were all really nice, um, usually meeting parents and family is very awkward, but with them it wasn't, which I thought was really cool. Um, they were all really funny and really nice, and that made the situation a lot easier for me. Honestly, my cat's trying to get in. Hold on. Anyway, where was I? Dang it! So we hang out and his sister and brother-in-law left. So we were in the living room and we were watching Netflix and everything. Well, he wanted to make out the whole time and I was like, okay, let's make out. And then I'd stop him because I was like over it. I was like, let's not make out the whole time. Like that's annoying. Other than, you know, making out almost the whole time. Had a good day. He wanted to hang out again, so I was like, all right, I went over there, it was the same thing, again, hung out the next week, and it was the same thing again. Well then, I told him a week or two into it, I was like, oh, I'm going to Kentucky, and he was like, no, I don't want you to, and I was like, mm, sorry. Um, <laughs> And he was planning on coming over the day before, or the day of me leaving for Kentucky, so he could tell me bye. Here's a little interesting story. Uh, I was going to tell him that I loved him on the day that I was leaving for Kentucky. He was planning on coming over the day of me leaving for Kentucky to tell me bye, and I was going to tell him that I loved him be cute and romantic and blah 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 and make him like remember that when I was leaving like okay as soon as she gets back like this is gonna be great we can finally be something no just wait I go to his house and he's like well I don't know if I can come over the day that you're leaving before you leave because I'm probably gonna have to work okay but like I'm leaving for a while so you can't like you couldn't have told me this before whatever so I'm like okay so I go to his house one last time before I leave because it's the last time I'm gonna see him before I get back and this time he wants to get more handsy while I'm at his house, and, um, I was like, mm, no, because I'm one of those people where if I'm not truly in love with you, I will not have sex with you. I was raised Christian, so that means no sex before marriage, and that's what I've been going by. I am a virgin. I do not want to 
do anything with anyone until I am super in love with you, feelings are mutual, and we're going to get married one day. And I know that for a fact. But at least got to be a ring on it, you know what I'm saying? So he's more handsy, and I'm like, you know what? I'm leaving for a while. So it's not like clothes are off or hands are in under, under the clothes. It's not like that. So it's like, whatever. Well, then I stop him because I'm just over it. I'm just like, I don't want to make out the whole time. Like, I'm leaving. I want to have conversation with you. Let's talk instead of face to face all the time. It's annoying. He got mad at me and he started getting more distant and everything like that. And so I was like, okay, whatever. Like, he's probably just upset that I'm leaving for a while. Okay. So, it comes time for him to take me home, and he does. Well, when he'd bring me home, usually he'd pull over, we'd pull over, we'd talk for a little bit, make out for a few, and then I'd get out, I'd walk to my porch, he'd wait till I was inside, and then pull off. This time, the last time that I went to his house, before I was going to Kentucky, he stops in the middle of the street, unlocks the doors, and tells me to get out. And I'm like, <laughs> okay. So I go for the door, because I think he's kidding. No, he, he wasn't kidding. So I go for the door, and I'm like, okay. And so I start to open it, and he's not stopping me. And I'm like, what is your problem? So I was like, no. And I turned around to kiss him and it was just okay go get out of my car I'm over it just get out of my car and so I was like okay I was like I'll talk to you in a little bit and he was like okay so I get out of the car and as soon as I get to my porch he's gone and I'm just like what is wrong with him well he texts me when he got home to let me know that he got home safe and to tell me, hey, I'm thinking about you. And I'll, I always liked that. It was really sweet that he did that. He didn't do that this time. And so I waited like an hour and he didn't text me. So I texted him and I sent him a frowny face. And he's like, what's wrong? And I said, I miss you. And he was like, well, you shouldn't. And I was like, H-E, double hockey sticks, no. So I call him and I'm like, what is up? Like, what is wrong with you? What's going on? Like, you have been acting weird all day. And he was like, I don't know. 10 minutes of me asking what is wrong and getting the same answer, I don't know, back. I'm still waiting to get the answer out of him. I'm like, Sam, what is going on? And he was like, I just don't think we're going anywhere. You mean going anywhere as in, in my pants? Because that's how I'm taking the situation. I was like, what do you mean? Because I won't have sex with you? And he was like, no, that's not it. And I was like, I'm pretty sure that's the reason why. Like, I don't, like, why else? He was like, well, I know that you're probably regretting spending time with me and some of the things that you've said or done or whatever with me. And I'm sorry. And I was like, I don't even want to hear you say sorry. Like, whatever. I, that whole conversation we were arguing and I threw my phone a couple times. I stormed out of the house. I was slamming doors. I, it was late at night. I didn't care who was sleeping. I didn't care who was here. I was mad. And Granny and Sabrina are both very smart. And they did not bother me the whole time that I was throwing this rampage. Because they know that when I'm mad, I will take things out on you when I don't want to. Yeah, so they're just sitting there in silence while I'm yelling on the phone. I'm like, well, you know what? F you. Hang up. <laughs> no one 
talks to me for a while until I start the conversation with them. So I said, Sabrina, let's go out here. And so I tell Granny and Sabrina what just happened and why I was known from yelling and being pissed off and all of that. And they're like, oh, well, he's a douchebag. And I was like, yeah, I know. You know, I made that long story short. Moral of the story is, do not fall in love with someone if you feel like they don't have the same feelings towards you that you have towards them. Go with your gut instinct, you know? If you feel like they only want you for sex, they probably only want you for sex. Pay attention to all the red flags from the get-go. Like, here's the beginning, here's the end. You pay attention to the red flags from here, and if there's a lot starting here, don't make it go to here at the end not fun not a good situation when you think someone is completely different they're probably not <laughs> they're probably just like everyone else until you find the right person don't search for someone let that someone find you because if you search for someone you get desperate and then you're gonna keep running in to the same kind of people that you ran into in the beginning and it's just a cycle so just let them find you if you want to see more story times uh, comment down below what kind of story time you want like common story times and I if I have a story for that then I will make a story time about it um, like subscribe to see more of my things and uh, for the weekly videos because that's fun my sleep has been messed up this whole time how annoying welcome to my life big mess up that it is.